What's up everybody? In my last video, I was able to get the turbo on this car mocked up a little bit. Now I need to create a motor mount that won't get in the way of that turbo. So the method that I'm using for this is going to be pretty straightforward. What a lot of people do is they actually just replace this whole cross member that's down here. If I can get that out of the way. Because I'm cheap and uh, they're somewhat difficult to find, what I've decided to do is take this stock motor mount, which on the NA version sits in here like that. On a previous video, I uh, showed how I got this off, but I'm going to try to weld it back in here uh, somewhere in there, which is how the turbo version sit. Plan is to go ahead and bolt up the part that bolts directly to the engine block. Then I'll get the rubber motor mount. After that, I'll try to figure out where I can put this in there that uh, will make sense and get it all hooked up. Now, as far as I know, and from the research that I've done, I haven't seen anybody else that's done this. So this is all just a little bit experimental. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it'll work because it's a lot cheaper than, uh, you know, purchasing a turbo cross member. And as I mentioned, they're becoming more and more difficult to find. Now, if you're just looking for something that you can bolt up in there and it'll work, then I think definitely going with the turbo cross member is probably what you want to do. I think that's going to be easier and quicker. And it's a, you know, a guaranteed way that people have been doing this for years. As I said, I'm kind of hoping this will work, but, um, We'll see, it may not be what everybody wants to do. So just quickly, in case my uh, last explanation didn't really make sense, right here is where this motor mount will bolt up to the engine. And then this bolts up to here. And then this will bolt up, uh, you know, something like that, if I can get it in there correctly, uh, about like that. So. As I said, first I'm gonna put this on the block. We'll see how it looks and how much space I have. Then I'll go ahead and bolt this on. And from there, I can figure out where this will actually fit onto this motor mount. Maybe try to get that tack welded onto the cross member. So I got this first part of the motor mount on. There's a one bolt here. The other one is up above. You can't quite see it. Probably already see a problem. And that is that this covers this hole right here, which is going to be where I'm going to have to put a bolt in and a line, an oil feed line for the turbo. Now I'm going to continue and leave that there. If everything else works out, I'm not too worried about this because I can just take a grinder and cut that edge off. So far, this is where I'm at. I, I cut a little bit of metal off this end on this bracket. And I think I'm going to have to cut some more off because it's just hitting right here and right there. So I think I'm going to trim those off just a little bit more. I've got enough gap between these two for that motor mount, but that bolt basically goes straight through from here to this motor mount here. But I don't know if you can tell, but it's not quite lined up straight. It needs to go that way about an inch or so. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more off this end. Well, things are getting closer to working here. I got the whole motor mount bolted up. I got one bolt in the block attached. I need to get the other one attached. And then I think from there, I should be able to see where it's going to sit. And then I should be able to do some tack welds and then hopefully just weld this whole thing together. So after getting those bolts on, 
it looks like this just might actually work just to give you an idea I'll try to get down here low this is where the motor mount is sitting on the cross member like I said it's still just sitting there I need to do a couple tack welds but I think this is going to work this is a view of the other side I don't know if you can see down in there very well but I will pull this whole cross member off so you can see how it's sitting in there and then just to give you an idea how this works I cut this one tube I don't have it it's still a little bit long but um, I think you can see that I think it will give me just enough space to where that uh, I will be able to get a pipe in there for the intake so the trick now is just going to be trying to find a way to get down in here to get a couple of those tack welds on this thing but once I do that I should be able to just pull that whole cross member out and then weld this thing up well thankfully I was able to get at least one tack weld on there to hold it I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the wire wheel try to clean that up pretty good and then I'll get to welding on this thing I've said on this channel before I'm not much of a welder and I don't claim to be so uh, don't expect great things out of this but I'll give it a shot and I have some scraps and hopefully if I get enough stuff on there it will be sturdy well I got it welded up this is what the final product looks like once again I don't claim to be a welder so this isn't exactly beautiful but I think it's on there pretty good now I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with a coat of paint so it doesn't rust out on me and then the real test is gonna be whether or not this all fits on the car well good news folks the motor mount is in and the cross members in so I believe this is going to work just one note as I mentioned I did grind this down and it did give me just enough room I can get that stock bolt back in so I'm hoping that I have enough room to get my oil line for the turbo in there here's a quick shot of the other side like I said I think it is going to work I think I have just enough room in front of that turbo to where I'll be able to get an inlet pipe in there so one thing that I wanted to mention this piece here it attaches to the motor mount and gives a third location where it attaches to the engine I took this off obviously I think I can get this to fit back on I'll have to do a little grinding once again you know maybe a little bit of fabricating to make it work but I do plan on doing that sometime down the road I think that'll just help sturdy up that motor mount a little bit more that's it for this video the plan for the next video on this car is to mount the intercooler up if you want to see that just hit my logo to subscribe and as always thanks for watching